Well, we certainly had a morning monsoon sweep through our area. Probably felt like Florida for a bit, it, but it cleared out over the past few hours. First alert meteorologist Felicia Woody joins us now. And Felicia, is that rain going to return later? Or are we finally just done with that whole mess? So we still, of course, it's summertime. We still have to watch for more rounds of rain. But one thing is we don't feel like Florida. <laughs> and when it rains here, it's more 70s or 80s versus the 90s. So that's one thing we're very thankful for. But most of the rain for today has wrapped up. And we're still going to watch for a couple of isolated showers. But we're actually starting to see some clearing. As you look out into Ohio, the Cleveland and Akron weather stations are actually reporting sunshine, so that will be arriving here very shortly. In fact, if you are in our northern counties up towards the I-80 corridor, you're probably seeing some sunshine right now, but we're still watching out for a couple of showers that are falling through with with the back edge of the system. So a few showers into Beaver, also Butler County, so Cranberry Township going down into northern Allegheny. It looks like you're going to be seeing some light showers here very shortly. A couple of light showers in Westmoreland County, also Indiana. This is all we're going to have left for today with the remainder of some clouds continuing to exit. So of course, Pittsburgh does look gray and cloudy, but give it a few more hours and we should be done with it. Temperatures will be topping off somewhere into this upper 70s because of the cloud and rain. So we have the couple of isolated showers for this evening and then tomorrow a quiet day, some passing clouds, and then we have to talk about Saturday's forecast. So we're watching for a couple rounds throughout the day. So starting overnight Friday into Saturday morning, we could have some scattered showers and storms and then it does pick back up again to the evening and some of these do have the potential to turn low and severe. So we we could have some heavier downpours, some periods of lightning and also gusty winds. So those are some things we got to watch out for on Saturday. We'll have an afternoon break, so any plans you actually might be able to look out and not get rained on. But then Sunday, that's looking like the better day of the weekend because, well, little to no rain chances. The sun's going to be shining and temperatures will be in the low to mid 80s. By Monday, it looks like another round of rain will be greeting us. So pretty much every other day for the next week, we're expecting to have rain that just happens to be the weather pattern that we're setting up in. The muggy meter is though back because it is going to stay sticky and muggy through the weekend and it looks like it spikes back up again on Monday, but that's just because we're watching for the return of more rain. So today with the upper 70s, it actually isn't going to feel too bad. We're back into the 80s this weekend. And if you don't like the 80s, 70s come back by next week. So Monday scattered showers and storms. Tuesday still mostly cloudy, mid 70s, but then sunshine returns again on Wednesday.